Hi, this is Not Too Fast here. In this video, I will show you how to properly aim your headlight. Here I have a 2016 Honda Civic. I'll show you step by step on how to correctly adjust the low beam. This procedure will be the same for other vehicles. Here are the tools that you'll need. A measuring tape with at least 25 feet in length, painter's tape, permanent marker, and a long Phillips screwdriver. Now to ensure you properly aim the headlight, it's recommended that you have half a tank of gas. You should have the weight of the driver inside the vehicle while making the adjustment. All the tires should be inflated to the proper pressure when it's cold. You also need the car to be on a level ground with a vertical wall 25 feet away from the front of the headlight. You'll be using the wall, or in this example, I'll be using the garage door as the aiming screen. First, we'll drive the car up to the wall, stopping at about three feet away. Next, we'll place a piece of painter's tape on the wall, lining up with the center of the vehicle. On most vehicles, you can use the factory emblem as a reference point. You will need to locate the center of the headlight, and that's indicated by a marking on the front of the headlight. On this Honda Civic, there is a round circle right here. Let me zoom in and I'll show you. Right here is the marking for the center of the headlight. Using your tape measure, measure the height from the ground up to this marking right here. This headlight has a height of 25 inch. Next, we'll place a piece of painter's tape directly in front of each headlight with equal distance from the center line. Now we'll mark the 25 inch, which is the height of the headlight that we measured for this vehicle. Next, we'll mark two inches below the center line. Now we'll place a piece of tape at the top of that line. Do the same thing for the other side. Now we have the markings for the aiming screen. You want to aim the light output so the top of the cutoff is at two inches below the center of the headlight. So if you see your light output is up here, you need to bring it down and stop at this line right here. Or let's say if your light output is shining up to this height, you need to raise it up to this line right here. This is the same for both the driver side and the passenger side. Now drive the vehicle back until the front of the headlight is 25 feet away from the wall. Right now the vehicle is 25 feet away from the wall. To adjust the vertical height of the headlight, look behind the headlight assembly and you'll locate the screw right here. Using a Phillips screwdriver, you can turn this clockwise and counterclockwise. If you turn this counterclockwise, it will lower the light beam. If you turn it clockwise, it will raise the light beam. Now I've not made any adjustments yet. Let me turn on the headlight and let's see how it looks. Right now the cutoff for the driver's side is at about here. So we'll need to lower it down to this line right here. And for the passenger side, it's pretty close, it's around here. It may also help if you block out one side of the headlight while making the adjustment. So right now you're looking at the driver's side light output. So let's first adjust the driver's side. I've gone ahead and covered the driver's side, and now we'll aim the passenger side. And now we have both lights properly aimed. Well, for those of you watching this video, I hope you find it useful if you want to properly aim your headlight. A couple of things to note, this aiming procedure is only done for the low beam. Once you have the low beam set, you do not need to do any alignment or aiming for the high beam. For those of you who might be wondering about the horizontal aiming for USDOT VOL or VOR headlights, they cannot be visually aimed horizontally. So if you get into a wreck and you have to replace the headlight housing or you want to replace the light bulb and you want to make sure the lights are properly aimed, you can follow this procedure to properly adjust it 
As for fog lights, meaning that these lights are mounted below your bumper, you can also adjust the vertical height of the light beam. And with the car 25 feet away from the wall, you want the top of the fog light beam to be four inches down from the center of the fog light height. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.